Well, to my no surprise, the weatherman lied to me. Yesterday, when I checked the weather report, it was supposed to be cloudy mixed with a little bit of sunshine. It is literally snowing. It's always fun when the weather forecast is wrong. Just makes for a much more exciting adventure. I spooled 10 pound Power Pro braid on both of these uh, reels right here yesterday night when I was prepping for this trip. And so they both are decently full, not super full, but more than enough to do what we're doing today, which is just doing some lure fishing for uh, trout. So I wanna get to fishing. So here's basically what I got going on. Today I brought basically two main lures with me and they are either some type of spinner like this bullet lure here, or they fall along the lines of a Ned Rig, such as the Ned Rig you guys see tied on here. For my Ned Rig rod, it's a Daiwa Triforce 7 foot 2 medium fast action rod, Shimano Sahara 2500 reel. Again, 10 pound braid with a 6 pound mono leader. And then for my uh, bullet lure rod and reel setup, it's basically an ugly stick rod. It's a 6 foot rod. And then I have a Daiwa legalis legalis however you pronounce that it's also a 2500 size reel same exact setup 10 pound braid with a six pound mono leader and then i just have a good old 25 acp bullet lure tied onto there i just had a fish that jumped right there so since i've never used a bullet lure that's what we're gonna start out with so there was a fish that just jumped right there let's give this a cast Whew, that cast pretty dang far We'll see how this goes. Never used a bullet lure, but I'm just gonna fish out how I fish any other spinners, which is just basically reel it in until you can feel that blade just spinning in the water. Basically, when you're fishing any type of spinner, they will have this little blade. And what this blade does is when you throw it in the water and you're reeling in the spinner, that spinner is gonna spin in the water. And when you do that, it has a lot of flashing looks to it in the water and it's supposed to mimic like just bait fish you know scattering or trying to swim away from trout and when they see that it just triggers that natural instinct to go and bite it you know so that's essentially the key when you're fishing any type of spinners is you want that blade to be spinning in the water so that you can mimic bait fish trying to run away from trout or whatever you're trying to fish sometimes though trout they want something a little bit slower like they don't want to be that active and chase down bait fish so that's why i have a ned rig with me if they want it a little slower but i have noticed though that this is a pretty light lure so i'm just gonna wait for it to sink a little bit further down that way i can work different columns of the water those first couple casts right there was just working the top column of the water but we're just gonna slow down our retrieve and we'll see if a trout wants to hammer this bullet lure. I mean, it spins really good. I can feel the blade spinning. We just got to catch a fish. Are you kidding me? You guys see that fish that jumped way out there? It's just like they're active. They're just not my type of active. Unless they want something top water, which I don't have. I'm actually fishing off the bottom, ironically. goes the first casualty for the Ned Rig. <sighs> Ned Rigs are expensive and they're actually one of the lures where you're going to lose the most just because you're working them off the bottom and so sometimes when you're hopping that Ned Rig like they'll just dive straight into a deep hole between some cracks of rocks 
that's just the name of the game i guess it's been a tough day so far though well i can't get it to straighten itself out but you guys get the point so you have the jig head down here and so when you hop it down this jig head will be heavy so essentially what you're left with is you're left with a vertical looking bait like that and this one right here is supposed to imitate a crawdad He broke off. Oh, he's right there. That's a giant. That's a big one. Oh my gosh, that was the biggest fish of the day. He broke off. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. What the heck happened? I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. That was like a 20 incher. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. He broke off right where I tied my, uh, my my braided to my mono i casted it and he picked it up like right there like super close in front of me i set the hook and i just broke right off that was like a 20 inch rainbow he was just chilling right there too the bigger thing is that fish has a hook in its mouth i feel more bad about that than losing the fish all right keep composure let's uh get another bite Oh, fish on. There we go. It's a little guy. And he came off. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, fish on. There we go. It's not a very big one. Please don't come off. Oh, please don't come off. You would make a good lunch for me. I'm so hungry. Oh, he, he, he choked it. Get on land. There we go, folks. We worked so hard. <laughs> Just for this tiny tiny trout and guess what got him on the bullet lure it's right there he's not big but i think he's perfect size for me to eat for lunch guys i am so hungry i didn't think that i was going to catch a fish today and came back to where i started and bullet lure clutched up I'm going to bonk them and we're just going to fish until about 2.30 and then that's when I'm going to start cooking because I'm hungry. Thank you, little buddy. I'm going to bonk you, put you out of your misery. I appreciate you coming and playing with me today. I don't think you understand how much I appreciate you. All right, here we go. Here we go. Stay calm. Stay calm. Okay. Just bonked him, he's twitching, so he's out. There you go, just a good look at this little rainbow trout. The 25 ACP bullet lure made by Life Stephanie himself, Northwest Fishing Secrets. And I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but look at this. 
Can you guys see that? He engraved my initials under the blade, SY. He, he literally custom made this bullet lure for me. Hello? 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 Hello, sorry, good day. My name is Sam and I'm a medical health representative. Do you have a medical or Medicaid? Uh, yes. That's great to know. Actually, sir, the reason for this call is to give you an update. So I think I just got a spam call and I just had a bite. I looked at it, I was like, who the heck is calling me? A random phone number. I was like, I might as well pick it up because you never know. Picked it up. And I was like, they were asking me about Medicare, Medicaid. And so sometimes I like to just kind of troll with these scammers. And as I was saying that, I felt my rod like start twitching. And of course the fish is gone now. I did not get any more hits in the last like 45 minutes after I caught and landed that one. So we're running low on daylight. If we still have some daylight by the time I'm done cooking, then we'll just go back to fishing. But yeah, I just, uh, Threw in everything I needed into my EXO here. Got some rice. That's gonna be delicious. Got some water to boil with a jet boil. This is my frying pan. I've got some diced onions, eggs, and butter, and yeah, all the good stuff. And got a pair of mitts just in case my hands got cold. This is one of my burner stoves. Let's just put that there for now. Got the jet boil to boil up some water. And these are just my knives, my tongs, all that stuff for cooking. Got the canister for the jet boil right there. And then I got the propane for my burner stove. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Oh yeah. And then hand wipes and TP because you, you never know, you know? Oh, and then uh, I've just got some oil, olive oil. This is just water. I haven't drank water all day, so I guess I should hydrate. When your body's dehydrated and you drink water, you can literally feel the water just like cleanse your body. Yeah, I'm pretty dehydrated. Don't be like me and not drink water. Oh, I lied. My, my butter is actually right here. Aluminum foil and just a spare ziplock bag because i'm actually going to save the head of this trout because i'm going to use it for burbot bait i'm planning on doing a burbot fishing trip here soon so just got some hands hand sanitizer and then these are just extra plastic bags just to pack out garbage and whatnot all right so i'm just gonna use a pretty standard method of how i clean trout it's pretty fast so just take the tip of your knife and just have your blade facing this way and just start from its anus and just basically slit all the way up to its head. Now I'm gonna cut off this head. So we're gonna just improvise here and just cut as close to the head as possible. And you got the bone to break through. Once you break it through, then just cut back towards this side. Now, normally I just throw this away, but we're actually not going to throw it away today. Today, instead of throwing away the guts and the head of the fish, we're actually going to save it. So we're just going to throw it in this little Ziploc bag and... That right there, 
once I get home, it's gonna go in the freezer. And whenever I'm gonna go burbot fishing, this will be my bait right there. My trout head and my trout guts. Now we gotta come back and finish cleaning this trout. You guys can see right here, that dark line. Just gonna smush that kidney out. It's not hard at all. Just smush the kidney out. Kidney, can't talk. Because we caught this fish using the bullet lure that life made, we're gonna go full send Northwest Fishing Secrets style. We caught the fish off of the bullet lure and we're gonna use some good old Danish sea salt. That's right, we're flexing with life today. First off, I have no idea how I'm supposed to open this. All right, life, I don't know. I don't know how you're supposed to use this or not use, but how, how you're supposed to open this red stuff. I kind of just literally like broke it open with my fillet knife and so I spilled some salt and all this plastic stuff I'll pick it up after I'm done here I've never like even tried Danish sea salt before so I'm actually kind of curious I mean it looks like it's got a lot of texture to it you know I, I don't know how much salt I'm supposed to put on here because here let me do this instead Let's just flip it to the other side. So since we got the outside, let's just put a little on the inside here. And I think that's that should be good. So take this little cap right here, just pop it back in. And I think that's how it's supposed to be. I hear the oil going. Yep, we're good to go. Just gonna take our fish and just drop it right in. Hopefully he will shrink and uh, we can uh, get going from there. Yeah, his tail sticking out, whatever. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to score the, the trout. That's exactly what I forgot to do. Basically, if you score the trout, you prevent the the fish from like scrunching up like how you guys see here let me just do that really quick basically all you're doing is you're just putting cuts into the trout the fish started to fall apart but I think we'll manage I'm just gonna throw this fish into this aluminum foil for now Oh, he's really falling apart. Just throw him right there for now. Cover this fish up. Let it stay warm. Let's put some generous amounts of onion in here. Oh. I really wish this wind would die down so that, you know, my heater or my stove would just be able to function properly. Just put some of this Danish sea salt. I guess we could just use the rest in here. Just put it over our eggs. Just throw in some parsley flakes with our eggs. All right, so I just put my fish and my eggs in this aluminum foil right here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna boil some water so that I can eat hot water on top of my cold rice and then I can make my lemon butter sauce. Slice off a chunk of butter. Take some of this lemon juice Gordon in here it just depends on how much lemon juice you want if you like it sour obviously just add more lemon juice if you don't like it as sour just add a little less just gonna throw in some parsley flakes in here 
Well, I've got everything. I've got my hot water, my rice, and then I've got my trout and my eggs. And all we're gonna do with this lemon butter sauce with pep, with uh, parsley flakes is we're just gonna, you know, just do this over it. And it's dripping out, which we don't want because we want all the juices. We're just gonna do it a little bit over our eggs too. There we have it. That right there, fresh trout eggs with onions lemon butter sauce over it and right here we're gonna pour our hot water over our rice that's it right there folks oh i am so excited let me say a quick prayer and we can eat father god i just thank you so much for uh allowing me this day to come out and enjoy creation uh today you know i'm just very blessed to be out here just to you know enjoy fishing enjoy solitude and right now i'm gonna eat some good food uh, father god i just thank you for providing this food and allowing me to successfully land that little trout earlier today and uh god that little trout even though he's not the biggest he definitely means a lot and you certainly know that i thank you for this food thank you for all the hands that pro helped provided it and i just pray that you watch over everyone the ones watching this video myself and the ones who are not watching this video we live in some very rough times, Lord, but I pray that you be with everyone and just remind everyone to keep their faith in you because you are always in control, Lord. We thank you so much, Lord. In Christ's name I pray, amen. So I'm in an awkward position here, but this right here is just hot water with rice. And when it's cold out here, this is the best. Oh yeah, it just, it just warms you right up. Try a little bit of the eggs with some lemon butter sauce. It's so good. I just want to eat and I don't even want to talk. Let's try this trout right here. Let's try it with the skin on. Well, let's take out this fin right here. All right, well, let's push this aside. Let's just try the meat. Dip in some lemon butter sauce. Mmm. Heck yeah. It's so good try the skin except the fin whoa that danish sea salt <laughs> it's salty but it holds its texture like i don't know if you guys heard but there was a little bit of crunching that danish sea salt is legit let's do more eggs with lemon butter sauce uh-oh, uh-oh. This is so good, folks. Maybe it's just because I'm really hungry. But I don't think that's just the reason. I, I, This is legit good. Just look how that meat just falls off the trout. Skin. Dip this into lemon butter sauce. Mm. Let's just take out the skeleton you know the trout's done when the meat just falls off the carcass I apologize if there's no manners here but I guess we'll um excuse the manners because of this background here my belly's full my heart is full that was a delicious meal but before i forget i just want to give a shout out to one of my viewers andrew uh he sent me this jet boil like several months ago i just haven't really shown you guys it but it's basically a jet boil if you don't know what a jet boil is it's basically an extremely fast burner that is designed to boil water hence the name jet boil but my boy andrew he uh sent me this jet boil and he actually owns a business called vilmont market and essentially it's like a craigslist for truck owners so if you own a truck and you're always trying to find you know just different gear or different equipment to rig up your truck check out vilmont market um I, i've looked at it and you know, it's a legit place to buy or sell car parts, truck parts, and whatnot. And so, Andrew, 
appreciate it. So I'm gonna clean up real quick and uh, get everything all settled into my backpack. That way when I'm ready to leave, I can just leave. Well, that's gonna do it for today. Uh, no last minute fish, so I'm ready to pack up and get back to the car and get back home. Today was one of my rougher days of fishing for sure, but it was certainly not the roughest. We got plenty of bites. Today, I just couldn't get my act together and apparently today I couldn't tie good fishing knots to save my life. I couldn't keep the fish on my hook. I decide to answer scam calls instead of paying attention to the fish that's been biting my, my lure. The bullet lure and the Ned Rig, in my opinion, they did their job. I just didn't do my job. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I will see you guys in the next one.